Ο Οργανισμός Πρόθεσης Ευρωπαϊκών Θεμάτων συμμετέχει σε ένα πρόγραμμα νεολαίας το οποίο έχει σκοπό να δείξει διάφορα εργαλεία για τους εργαζόμενους στον τομέα της νεολαίας και το όνομα, ο τίτλος του έργου βασικά είναι το ταξίδι, τα εργαλεία και βαρύτητα του εργαζόμενου στον τομέα της νεολαίας. Ο συντονιστής του προγράμματος είναι ο κύριος Βίκτορ Σορίν από τη Ρουμανία ο οποίος θα μας πει λίγα λόγια για το έργο. Yes. So the suitcase, the map, and the voyage of a youth worker is a Erasmus Plus uh, project where we established to have uh, five uh, main results, uh, so-called intellectual outputs. Um, we will have a career box that um, interactive guide where um, teenagers can uh, find different tools which can help them in their career and in especially in their decisions about uh, their potential careers. Also, we have a simulator box of jobs where we selected 10 the most required uh, jobs in the partners' areas, uh, which we uh, detailed uh, with a few descriptions, movies, and the kind of simulations. So we included some tasks which can be done by young people in order to see if that job is suitable or not. Then we have a learning to learn online training course, also addressed to, to young uh, people, but here also mm -hmm. other people can, uh, can uh, uh, go through it. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, online training course for yeah. the youth workers, okay. and uh, at the end we have face-to-face uh, -face, uh, training course. Monica? I am Monika from Poland. Uh, I am representing uh, Fundacja Centrum Aktywności in Leszno. Um, I'm so glad to be part of this project and cooperate with these lovely partners from another European countries. And the Mark is the representative of the UK. Yes, good. Hello to you. My name is Mark Mitchell. I'm uh, from a, an NGO that's near, based near London. Um, I think for us in the UK, we see young people need more clarity of choice when they're looking at a career. Um, our service is good, but it could be so much better for young people and the ability to cooperate with partners from Cyprus, Romania, Poland, as well as Italy and Spain gives the chance to share with what we do at the moment and create something better for the young people in our countries and through our dissemination, young people across the whole of Europe. 